Mike Holmes standing at his 10 yard line. Justin Brockhouse Kong with the punt and trying to keep it in play. Gets the bounce. And Syracuse has a long way to go down at the two yard line, a 36 yard punt. You may want to look for a double move and try to get big yardage, or you're going to try to just run the football out and get it out and make a first down that way. Twin receivers at the top of your screen for Ryan Nassib. Out of the eye, they get it to the fullback. They're trying to get a little bit of breathing room. As Adam Harris gets the call, Mike Linares making a stop, a gain of five. So Harris at 62, 232. Big enough to uh, churn out five yards on the first play. Nice surge up by that offensive line, moving out and really moving the uh, green jerseys backwards. That offensive line has done a nice job all day running the football for the Orange. Boy, nice stutter step. Antoine Bailey, the ball carrier, picks up six. And that is going to be a first down. So starting inside the five yard line, uh, two plays later, Syracuse now with a little more breathing room as they move the chains. Bailey's been a nice change up back for head coach Doug Marone and being able to insert Carter and Bailey into this football game. And it doesn't really matter what plays you call, both guys getting it done. They stay in the eye formation. Delon Carter hits the middle of the line. And you're lucky if you got up to the 15 in a game of two. And we talked about the eight players that Doug Marone is playing without the gun for the year because of injury. What was he saying? You add in the injuries and uh, the situation. Now, he, he came down here with 59 scholarship I, players. I think uh, so. I think that's what he has rostered right now. So it's a situation where Syracuse trying to be competitive and keep growing as a football team. But as their scholarship numbers grow, I think they'll get better in not only frontline players, but in the depth of this team. Nassib. Heads up play, gets it up to number 15, Alec Lemon. Jaquan Williams was there. So Syracuse playing a lot of freshmen. They have 26 seniors on the team. The penalty flag was dropped uh, at about the 24-yard uh, line. You see most crew freshmen uh, playing time. Syracuse uh, trailing only Air Force and Florida. No flag on the play. The receiver was pushed out of bounds, came back in legally for the reception. Third down. Okay, so they pick up the flag. And Syracuse facing another third down. Another good job by quarterback Ryan Nassib just to really be calm in that backfield. When he's had time to scan the field, he's been very effective. The pressure from South Florida has been giving, it will give any quarterback problems, but Marshall and Bedford and then Sabbath Joseph coming from the secondary, that's been a, a, a thorn in their side. Three of 11 on third down. And it's gonna be close. Had to get to the 23 yard line. Sabbath Joseph makes the stop on Carter. And uh, they got it. Another first down. Gain of three. Syracuse right now in a, a wearing you down mode offensively. They've done a nice job. They were inside their five yard line. I'm just waiting for Doug Marone to call that play where he play actions and tries to take advantage of getting over the top of this defense. And this one's complete. A good stick by the defense back, but the ball's complete. So has the lead in number 80. Quentin Washington coming up to make the stop. A gain of eight more, though. So Syracuse starting inside the five-yard line. The longest drive of the year was 87 yards against Maine. That's that game that NASA threw five touchdown passes. Don McPherson, Donovan McNabb only had four. But if they're watching the broadcast, they'll say, hey, we did it to get the DCS team. And Carter gets some running room, another first down. The boy, Syracuse looks poised Put, on this drive. Putting a great drive together, and they're doing it with that offensive line. They're doing a nice job of, again, pushing the green jerseys backwards. And they're really laying and getting, uh, getting that uh, Bulls defense a little bit tired out on that football field. You can see Delone Carter and Bailey running downhill. 
They're punishing runners, especially Carter. He does a great job at the end of runs. Burns Tyson Gully, two freshmen in the backfield. He gets the call. He could go. No, it's Bailey with the call. Antoine Bailey finds some running room. 31 yards, so Bailey who averaged over eight in the first half and getting a lot of compliments with his receiving prowess, but he says, hey, I'm a running back first and foremost. He showed that here today. Defensive coordinator Mark Snyder for the Bulls right now must be frustrated on the sidelines because Syracuse is owning the line of scrimmage and they're running the football right down the throat of the Bulls. Massive finds his man Van Chu inside the 30 yard line and he's brought down by John Logist. Four more remember this drive started inside their five yard line. Positive plays positive yardage the orange in a little bit of a rhythm right now and they're spreading the football around they've been giving it to Carter Bailey on the outside using their tight ends Van Chu gets a catch there so in good situations. Good formation, spread you out, bring you inside, and run the football. Massive. As his man, Bailey at the top of the field, top of your screen at about the 10 yard line, Terrence Mitchell runs him out. So Antoine Bailey now, the junior out of Maryland, they're getting it done on the ground and through the air. Remember a couple of years ago, Bailey was that hero in that Notre Dame upset in South Bend, 126 on 16 carries. Just a simple screen outside to Bailey. Good job by Rob Spence, the offensive coordinator, coming up with multiple positions, moving people around, and really creating space for this offense. Carter weaves his way through. You know, it's funny, uh, Doug Marone saying, watching film earlier, we talked about the fact that he was hitting the hole too quick. He also said he had this tendency to cut right into the pursuit instead of trying to break to the sidelines. Did a nice job of finding uh, an opening that time for Carter. As they're just shy of the five yard line. This is one impressive drive. Carter 94 yards. With seven 100 yard rushing games in his career. This time he has nowhere to go. Right down by D.D. Lattimore, the redshirt freshman from Athens, Georgia. This might be a good time to take advantage of the multiple tight ends you have on this team. Try to slip somebody after play action into the end zone because you've run it so effectively throughout this entire drive. Maybe fake it to Carter and try to get the tight end in the back of the end zone. Carter inside the five yard line. A couple of yards closer. And that was a third down play. Had to get to the four. It's going to be a first and goal now for Syracuse. And Delon Carter, three yards shy of the century mark. Jesus. He's, he's earned every one of them, Mike, today. 14 play drive so far, covering 93 yards. This Drive started on their own two yard line. Longest drive of the year, touchdown. Number five, his first catch in 2010, Marcus Sales. That has to feel good, John Congemi, because Sales says he's been getting bombarded with text from Buddy saying, How come you're not catching the football? Last year he had 28 catches, second in yards gained, and that's his first catch. Well, this was too easy on first and goal. Just an easy pitch and catch from Ryan Nassif to Marcus Sales, and what a drive. This was a spectacular drive by the Orange. 14 plays, 98 yards, and took 634 off the clock. And Krautman puts on the exclamation point with the PAT. Seven minutes and 15 seconds. Ryan Nassif, the entire offense looking pretty impressive. Just a great drive by the entire offense, and the Orange take the lead late in the fourth. 